started, we may have had a few, a little over 100 people at the first event, and it's continued to grow. And unbelievably, I think we have over 450 people here tonight. And when we when we set up and, and started this event, we said, well, let's find out what other district councils are doing for their awards programs or their big dailies. And we looked at cities like Chicago, and we looked at Atlanta. And Atlanta had a very successful program, and we called them, and we asked what their secrets were. Well, just two weeks ago, I was out in San Diego at the ULI conference, and I was speaking with the Atlanta executive director, and I told him how successful uh, this event has become for us. And he was asking questions and asking questions, and he began to his heart and said, Call me, I want to find out what your secrets are for such a great event. So, um, hats off to all those who have been involved with this. Uh, putting it together. A number of people have been involved with this for the last five years, and we're thrilled to be uh, in this incredible venue. Mayor, um, very excited that you're here to share uh, as one of the first events here at the Music City Center. For those of you who don't know a lot about ULI, our mission is to provide leadership in the responsible use of land and in creating and sustaining thriving communities. As such, ULI Nashville has become, at the local level, a valuable and respected voice and a trusted advisor in real estate and land development and land, issue, land use issues. This respect and trust is a result of our facilitating collaboration and the open exchange of ideas, information, and experience among industry leaders, community partners, and policymakers, all dedicated best practices in the use of land. Tonight, which is the capstone of ULI's year of programming, we gather to celebrate some examples of those best practices. I hope everyone had a chance to take a look at our event sponsors, as well as all the uh, projects that were nominated this year out on the banners above the bars outside. Together, all of these projects tell an interesting story about the economy and about development here in Nashville over the past five years. These projects reflect public-private partnerships, restoration of historic buildings, adaptive reuse, a public purpose component, and some sort of tie to the arts, healthcare, and tech industries. And I believe this story has a great next chapter. This crowd is evidence of that. Tonight's fifth anniversary of our awards is, as I said, our biggest gathering to date. That might be due to the momentum in our development climate, might be due to a curiosity about this amazing venue we're in, because we're fortunate to have National ULI Chairman Peter Rummel here as our speaker, and because the awards we'll be giving tonight recognize excellence in development, design, and land use in our region. But I also believe it's because we all appreciate the value of ULI and ULI Nashville for quality information, education, networking, and involvement in, in community issues. And we understand ULI is a valuable organization for making connections of all kinds. So thank you to all of our members who are here tonight and all of our non-member guests for joining us tonight to connect with one another and celebrate. During the last five years, the work of our district council simply would not have been possible without the generous support of our annual sponsors. I want to give a sincere thank you and ask you to do the same to our sponsors, uh, who you'll, you'll, again, you'll see on the banners outside. Thank you. This year has been quite a year. We've offered a full calendar of programming and networking events. Our membership numbers are bigger than they've ever been. We've got a 30% increase in membership. And as Rose asked me not to plug, I'm going to anyways, because anyone who has considered becoming a member of ULI, it would be extremely important to do that before June 30th. Our local district council will benefit greatly if you do. And I can tell you more about that if you want to hear finally after. We've created several new member-only opportunities with committees looking at urban magnets, looking at capital uh, markets, and looking at breaking barriers for urban infill. 
We're fortunate to have the national spotlight shining on us right now. We've been called everything from the next boom town, which is in fact our theme for our programming every year, or this year, building boom town. We've been called one of the friendliest cities, the top healthcare city, the best food scene, and just today I saw that Forbes calls us, and I'm sure the chamber and the mayor will be happy, happy to hear this after working on it for several years, one of the top 10 cities for tech jobs in the United States. There's several more lists and TV shows we've been uh, named, named after us, but uh, and that's all fine. But um, you know, we talked about it at lunch with our sponsors today. Um, lessons learned from past uh, boom times, and what we need to know as we're on top and leading the momentum across the country as we, as we crawl out of this recession. And so, um, you know. As, a, as one of the top three boom towns, again, as Forbes said last year, um, I, I just keep my fingers crossed that we'll, we'll learn some lessons from other places across the country. And I sure hope all the buzz and attention doesn't lead to something like this.